the meeting of the Board of Selectmen uh, Tuesday, April 15th, <coughs> 6 p.m. is being called to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence, please, for the um, Boston Marathon uh, victims, as well as to reflect on the importance of our role as in the government of Town of East Long Meadow. Okay. According to the to the Mass General Laws 31A, Section 20E. I am to ask if anyone is recording this meeting, other than LCAT. Hearing none, we can move forward, correct? Okay. Um, first on the agenda is the um, municipal space purchase. A discussion with regards to that, Nick? Madam Chair, this is on for the board's uh, discussion in advance of getting to the Warren articles. Um, the board has, uh, over several meetings, um, had a, an RFP to consider, uh, a proposal or a couple of proposals to consider relative to a purchase of municipal space. Um, and I would ask the board to consider either awarding um, a, a bid to one of the proposers and then subsequently putting it on to the warrant for consideration by the town or for the board to reject the proposals so that the um, bidders can be notified. Well, seeing that we're having the technical difficulties with Mr. Gorman, if we were to wait until our 29th, April 29th meeting, would that cause too much of an issue? It um, could cause, it could cause some issues. I can't say for certain. It's coming very close to the finalization of the warrant for mm -hmm. publication. The board has approved the publication of May 8th, which would be the last date that it could be published anyway. And the reminder will be sent the warrant um, at least to start working and putting things in place mm -hmm. so that they would have that article to retract if possible on Wednesday the 30th. I, I, okay. I can't give you a, a definite, but um, okay. which I, I, you know, I know makes yeah. it more difficult for the board. Yeah. Um, Paul, mm -hmm. uh, Selectman Federation, yep. do you have any comment on this? Just that, um, you know, we, I know one of the problems that we're having is we, we, well, I went through the building originally and we just looked at it like a cursory look and, and mm -hmm. everything looked okay. And then we had some of the um, members of, um, of the um, town DPW mm -hmm. go through and a couple of things that they noted you know one of the things in the RFP was that um, we needed a um, um, ADA compatible elevator and a few other things and I guess that uh, I know it's four letters and two of them are L's it's okay uh, the elevator that was suggested I guess isn't uh, one of the concerns was it, it it may pass certain ADA requirements, but it doesn't fully pass the requirements and, and should say some, I think it's only like a 36 by something elevator. And should someone on the second floor need a stretcher, I don't think it would even, you know, I don't think it would be compatible to fit in it. That's some, something they brought to our attention. Mm -hmm. Another thing they brought to our attention was the fact that the, the bathroom down in the, I believe on the first bottom floor, if you will, was gonna be, well, besides the fact, it's not a big deal, it was gonna be a converted storage area, but it was gonna be a unisex bathroom. And they didn't think that that, would go over well with the employees. Um, they went through a list of um, they went through a list of, of either both annual and I wish I had them with me. We had them la at our last meeting Friday, mm -hmm. but the list we of did. annual expenses plus what it would take to get the building up and running. And um, so we ended up. I guess what I'm basically trying to say is we ended up with more questions than answers. So unfortunately, um, I mean, once again, I wish you know, if I knew if, if I knew your folks were going to be here, I would have either brought the information or had Bruce Finney come in because he sort of led the led the troops there going through. Um, yeah. So 
go. Well, you're the chairman. So no, you're no, gonna... no, please finish. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, so right now, you know, we're, we're in the position where it doesn't really, I guess in our, in our opinion, like the, the elevator and things don't meet what we had looked for in our, you know, in our RFP. So, um, and that's, and I'm saying that as being told that by someone else, because I know absolutely nothing about elevators. Uh, Ray LaPlante from LaPlante Construction. Uh, I'm the one that priced out the elevator. So. Oh, okay, please have a seat here so that Working. you can be picked up What's on that? the mic. Yeah, have no a seat here. here. We're getting oh. furiously waved at by our LCAT director. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm the one that uh, uh, worked out on the bid mm -hmm. for the uh, for the building. And uh, the, uh, the elevator that we proposed mm -hmm. was a Lulu elevator which has been used at Springfield College. That's where we went and took a look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more than 36 inches wide. Uh, it's acceptable. For, mm -hmm. uh, it's ADA acceptable. But on the other hand, I'd like to say, if they wanted a full speed elevator, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can put one in. Oh, okay. We can put one in. Are you available to meet on the 29th? Uh, it, uh, Would you be? Uh, just yes. To meeting is scheduled to be at 9 o'clock in the morning. In the morning, right. No. As far as the handicapped bathrooms, if we had to put another handicapped bathroom in, Do that's doable. Okay. Okay, we had an engineer over there with us mm -hmm. uh, to go over mm -hmm. everything. We met Dan Hellyer over there, made recommendations, uh, and uh, it everything seemed, didn't seem to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I bid it right, based right. on their recommendations. Yeah, and I know. Okay. So, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I interrupted well, uh, you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I got it I, from someone. Uh, I heard there was a parking problem there. I can't. Uh, yeah, that that was an, that's, that's true. That, that was another yeah. issue that uh, you know we're talking. There's 27 parking spaces. From what I understand, we've no. got 40. 34. Is there 34? Well, are yeah. you including just your lot or the side lot where the? No. Because I because I know you guys have a shared relationship with. Uh, no. No shared. No. Relationship. Okay. All right. No, they're leasing some parking spots right now okay. from us. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, um, I heard I heard that there was plans of maybe adding on to this building. Uh, I don't see a lot of parking spaces out there. Right. Well, no. so yeah, the, I, I think the problem they were looking at is we have I think forty something employees in this building, if I've got it right. And mm -hmm. even with thirty four spots, with the public and everything, it, you know, I don't know. If, yes. Yeah. We. Uh, my, my name is uh, Jim Walsh. Okay. I'm one of the owners of the building with okay. Ray, and uh, I used to own Bay State Environmental, oh, okay. which which took up most of that building with the exception of Ray's office, and we've had over 50 people working in there without ever a problem and okay. clients coming back and forth. Yeah. Okay. And once again, unfortunately, I'm giving you secondhand you know information mm -hmm. that they, it was given to me, and I didn't actually look at it. Um, you know, like the, like for example, the elevator. I know I got a, a, a one sheet. Um, not description, but there was something that, that was given to me by one of the members of the uh, DPW that said that that elevator was not fully ADA compatible. So I'm just going by, you know. Yeah. Uh, the, we, uh, I believe that the, um, the Brendan Greeley from yeah. RJ Green Company <coughs> submitted the proposal yeah. on behalf of, of the owners. Mm -hmm. um, the I believe the RFP specifically said ADA um, compliant as determined by the building inspector we had the building inspector approve, pre-approve, I guess, um, the uh, the plans that we had drawn up mm -hmm. for um, to to mm -hmm. to put the elevator into mm -hmm. the building. So he his determination was that that would meet code. Okay. Um, the also I would just say you know it, it sounds like there's a a number of things um, that. Are are um, worthy of a discussion, mm -hmm. um, and and the the RFP mentioned that um, once the um, once the uh, proposals were received, that there might then be some dialogue, uh, and to date we haven't heard right. a word from anybody. Okay. Um, I mean, it's been you know it's been me calling consistently mm -hmm. to try to understand. Where is it at? Yeah. Okay. You know, we, so who, who did you call? Uh, me. Nick. And me. Nick. Okay. And Paul. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's let's do this. Um, 
we'll leave it as stands. We'll we'll ha have some dialogue um, and be prepared for the meeting on the 29th to um, move forward and um, possibly let the public decide. Um, offer both options mm -hmm. and let the public decide at the. Um, at the excuse me at the town meeting if that's what the board so de desires but it sounds like there's a lot more information that hasn't been um, discussed yeah. and we want to make sure we have a full discussion and a comp full and complete discussion sure would it, would it be possible prior to that to set up a meeting with that's what I was gonna I think think w or who, who yeah through, i think that's a the, good the idea departments that have some concerns and we'll do that through nick um, if maybe if you can give them some available dates for you, and we'll check yeah, with DPW yeah. and get some dates from them as well. Yeah, because if I made through the chair, I'm giving you information that was given to me, so yeah. it's yeah. not like I went and looked at it. So I'd love to have you guys get in front of Bruce Finney. Yeah. Yeah. You, know. you know, I've talked to some board members that uh, weren't apprised of this at all. Okay. Didn't right. know what was going on. Right, and, and it might be a good idea neighbor. also for us What's to that? look through the building as well. I just said one of them's my neighbor. Okay. And Which board, board member? What board uh, are you talking about? I, Dr. Tide Richards. Oh, okay. Well, actually, we haven't even gotten to the point where this. No, is. I know, but he, yeah. you know, yeah. Usually, word gets around. True. I mean, DP, DPW. Well, I mean, in a sense, you know, well, you talk about the the issues at hand, or just the no, project just, in general, because everybody knew. I who, just asked him. I, I asked him today if he had heard anything about our building. He didn't know anything about. Well, 90 okay. 90 percent so, of the town yeah. has come okay. up to me, and they and everybody's asked me about the Lavoie building. <laughs> so from last but, year when yeah. we first went to town yeah. meeting, yeah. So. So. Okay. All right. So very good. We'll set that up. Thank yeah, you very much for coming in. Through me, Nick. And yeah, don't I'll, go through me. Yeah. As you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but you're right. right. I'm up tomorrow, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. The issue still for the board is to make an award or not make an award. My recommendation to the board mm -hmm. for, you, for you to consider is this. First, is, does the board have any interest in looking at the proposal for the build from the bottom up, that other proposal? If that's the case, and then this is the only one that the board is interested in, I'd ask the board to make the decision to award the bid to this vendor. Mm -hmm. That would be one decision. And then for that to mean that all of these discussions and whatever meetings the board is going to have and fact finding, further fact finding with this vendor will take place in the interim between this being on the warrant and the town meeting. And so then if at the town meeting it's determined that a plan is put forward and the board is fully in support of this, that you go to town meeting and say this is why we support it and would you consider voting for it or if at that before during that interim the board comes to the conclusion that it does not wish to take action on it then not take action on it and I say this is because is to eliminate the uncertainty as to what's going to be on the warrant okay you're asking us to make a decision when we don't have all of the information so and we also are missing one board member who we have tried to contact um, and I was warned of this, and so I will take this as a lesson. Um, I think it would be, and I'm open to discussion with uh, Selectman Federici, if we were to be able to wait until the meeting on the 29th and make that decision uh, then, and then you would have your um, the answer to what you want to place on the warrant, as well as to where what direction we were going. If I may, through the Please. chair. I think, if I got you right, Nick, I think all you're asking is, not to necessarily decide anything as far as what we're going to do town, you know, in, in finality with the town space, but you want to rule out the, the build, build. build from the ground up. So if right. we were to award the contract or the, the bid to these, this group, then at least we're that uncertain. You know, they know that they're the only game in town if we decide to go there. That would be, that would be the, be the first decision. Right. That would be the first decision. The other, the other part of it uh, to the board is if the board makes a decision to go ahead and, and have the meeting of the 29th be the time when you're going to make a decision on this particular warrant article for this particular project or, or the other project or however that mm -hmm. works, okay, 
Does that mean then that the warrant itself is open until that meeting as well? And could potentially board members introduce new warrant articles up to and including the meeting of April 29th? And, and I say that because that will be mm -hmm. very problematic. On the warrant, as it stands now, we have the building. We have the building municipal study um, with regards to purchasing the building, and we also have the one with regards to building one as well. No, um, what you have is a placeholder article for the purchase of municipal space. Mm -hmm. So it's done in, in somewhat of a generic way. So either way that we were to go, we could also we could also adjust th that that article from the floor. Is that correct, Council? I believe so. Okay. Okay. So you, you're I want to say, if I may, through yeah. the chair, but we're also considering whether we want to go with the new building or the town hall renovation. So I thought we were also going to have, I thought at one point we were talking about having, well, as it stood now, we had a warrant for each item on the, on the, in the you know in the town warrants for the meeting and then we were gonna it, if we decided we didn't want to go forth with, with buying a building we just wouldn't act on that warrant and we you know right. to date that's been the board's discussion but I think from the from the board's meeting with the Board of Public Works on the 11th it's clear that the Board of Public Works is keeping that renovation article if you will on the warrant so that okay so that's appear, theirs that's right okay right. that will appear okay. on uh, you know on the warrant one way or another and I think we should keep ours um, not to say ours or theirs um, but the one with regards to the municipal space, we should keep that there and we should adjust it accordingly um, on the floor if that's what it comes down to. Okay. okay? So, so that, that, that was the question I had for the board. Will you consider keeping that article on there regardless of whether or not there's going to be action so that uncertainty yes. as to what the warrant looks like could potentially, the warrant could potentially then be closed tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's what I was, um, my biggest concern is so that there couldn't be, if the warrant was still open, potentially Understood. another article could be added. No, um, we should prepare to close the warrant today, to, uh, tonight, and if anything needs, to, it's better to have it, not need it, than to need it and not have it. So anything that's on there would remain on there as it is, as it stands now, and we would adjust from the floor. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Town Council, do you have anything to add to that conversation? Not at all. Okay. So, with that being said, um, I'll entertain a motion to close the warrants, or did you want to go through them? Uh, yes, Nick? I'm so, no, no, that's okay. Um, did, didn't, uh, item two, I guess, we then really didn't want to have any discussion from the board necessarily. Um, the renovations. I, I just received that on Friday. It's only three days later. It's tax season. I have not seen it yet. So um, certainly I'm sure there will be a discussion with regards to that. There was a lot of information in there. Uh, unless uh, Select with Federal EG, do you no. have something to add to that? Okay. By the chance, was that our no. other selectman? Okay. All right. Um, uh, select with Federal EG? No, I, no nothing okay. to all right. Monday Night Football. That's, That's okay. okay. Um, with respect to the, to the warrants, to yes. the warrant articles, mm -hmm. um, if the board, I, I know that the board has been through them several times. I, mm -hmm. I guess there would be just a couple of things I would like to ask if I could. Certainly. Um, and, and maybe point out um, the article for the Enterprise Fund for the transfer station that will be taken out. An article for okay. What numbers? Um, that was the first article eleven, I think, from the last Friday. Okay. All right. So you're taking that out. Right. That's not going to be in there at this for this meeting. Okay. Um, two that are not in there. Well, one that's not in there would be the um, proposed recreation department article for the uh, revolving fund. That's the one that town council spoke with you about, mm -hmm. and proposed. Um, Location for that one would be the last of the revolving okay. funds. So you do not see language in there, but that will, you know, but unless so we have a place the other way, holder for that. That will be in, in with the warrant. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then um, 
if there was another one that uh, the chairman would want yeah. to add? Um, I haven't had a chance, I haven't heard an answer back from council with regards to a warrant article with regards to the animal control officer. Um, okay, essentially what has happened is I know that he was asking for um, an increase in his his um, salary. Um, and in the past he has been told that he is going to get an increase or it, it has been alluded to. Um, and I was wondering if he were to bring in X amount, and maybe it's something up for discussion, we may have to wait until October, but if he were to bring in X amount, is there a vehicle where we could give him a percentage of that increase? As And this would make it so that we're not adding an extra or a permanent increase to our taxpayers budget. I would suggest that the board think long and hard about increasing any employee in the department has salary based on the source of revenue that they might generate during any period of time. Okay. Uh, if the job requires additional compensation, then appropriations committee and the board should work to establish an appropriate salary level for the employee, but to base it on how many dogs are picked up or how many tickets are issued or how mm -hmm. much income is received from the sale of dogs, I think creates uh, potential. Okay. All right. Well, I guess with that being said, I guess we'll go back to the Bilton board with that. Okay. All right. So that says that for now. And I, I will say that I will come back with that one a little better um, plan, plan for that. So, now, are you all set, Nick? Well, w with that, I don't have any other articles uh, to suggest putting on or, or taking off at this point. And okay. I would ask the warrant, uh, the board to consider closing the warrant. <coughs> Select with Federici. Mm -hmm. Is I there anything else that you, see, that you see that needs to be added or taken out no. of this warrant? No, so with time. With that, I'll entertain a motion to uh, close the warrant. Uh, so moved. I'll second out of necessity. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So the warrants are officially closed. Okay. Uh, next um, would be the IT uh, systems position recommendation for hire. I'd like to invite Ryan Quimby up, the department head. Well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I will say um, that we had 85 candidates to start with. We narrowed it down to nine that we interviewed, and then we had a second interview of three, and it's narrowed down to one, and that's the recommendation that um, Mr. Quimby would be making at this time. Yeah, yeah the recommendation to hire would be uh, for uh, Andrew Collins. He was, you know, as Selectman Thorpe had spelled out, you know, we went rigorous process of interviews and questions, you know, probably about over an hour and a half, two hours of interviews mm -hmm. for each candidate. Mm -hmm. And uh, exactly. he came out on top. He passed your final test. He passed the he final did. test, yeah. And he, he did. did uh, two other of the IT employees were involved in the interviews as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, I would agree with um, mm -hmm. that recommendation. Um, because it is an entry level IT position, I would would recommend that we start at the beginning of uh, grade six. Um, with respect to Mr. Quimby, who does not um, agree with that, um, seeing that the times that we are in, I would would recommend. Now, can we say the actual amount for the? looking to make for a hiring decision. Mm -hmm. that, <clears throat> that may be uh, something that the board might want to consider under executive session with respect to uh, not with respect to union negotiations. Council? Just Can, yeah, please. Council. 
the question for the, that the board is considering is uh, they're looking to make an offer of employment to an individual for the IT position. And the question is whether or not in what latitude the board might have if it so chose to hire someone at a um, step level higher than the entry step level. And is this a, a matter that uh, can and should be an executive session under the um, discussion with respect to not with respect to collective bargaining? Well, it, it's going to depend on the terms of the collective bargaining position for this employee stays with respect to hires. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll just um, go ahead, go through with the recommendation, and then we can discuss the salary. I guess that'll have to be an executive session tonight. Um, I guess it would be tonight. Um, it, if I may, through the chair, well, there wasn't yes. a salary stated in the. It was the range for the for the oh, okay. prescribed grade. The, okay. the problem is that the grade that that position is in is incredibly low. Even the highest end of that grade is significantly lower than surrounding towns or comparable positions. But uh, that is what we advertise at. And, right. and so the individual is aware of that. So I, I think it is an entry, it's advertised as an entry level position. And but it's it a, the low end of that job is no longer fair market value. Uh, that position was graded when I had the position in mm -hmm. early 2000s. Mm -hmm. It's grown a lot more since then. I think the start at the bottom of that range is is um, not it's not a fair offer. It's not uh, for that not for the position. It's not. I would suggest but to you that this discussion about where you want to make an offer to this employee or not, as it impacts potential collective bargaining with the group, should be an executive session. Okay. So what we're essentially doing right now is um, I'll entertain a motion to accept the candidate um, Andrew Collins. Yes. Um, for the pos the empty position of the IT, excuse me, what exactly is it again? I'm uh, sorry. Computer technician. Computer techni te technician. So moved. And I'll second out of necessity. Uh, any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we will take Ohio. up the other issue in executive session with, with council. Okay. The next, um, moving right along, is the animal control nomination of assistant animal inspector, Melissa uh, Defino, uh, um, and that'll be for the period of May 1st, 2014 till April 30th, 2015. Um, I'll entertain that motion. So moved. And I'll second out a necessity discussion. I do believe that we, we do need to have a job description on file and it needs to um, differ, 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 It needs to make the difference between the assistant and the actual animal inspector, and that's my only discussion with regards to that. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. The scholarship update. Um, there, there is a scholarship that's being given. Um, Nick, the name yes. of the company, please, the formal name. Um, Allied Waste Republic Services. Right, to our students. And what has happened is we had five individuals that had put in um, videos. The, um, I would like to make the recommendation that the um, $1,000 scholarship go to Aria Barshisi? Bar Bachi, thank you. And what she did is... Um, I, she, she put forth a wonderful video with regards to going green. All of the videos were wonderful, um, but hers was more so in the line of community service and going green, and I think that's what Allied uh, was trying to do. So um, I accept a uh, motion to uh, accept her as the recipient of that first First offer scholarship. So moved. And I'll second out a necessity. Any discussion? Um, I would like to say that there were um, some other scholarships that were worthy of receiving some sort of um, monetary, maybe a small monetary, um, definitely smaller than a thousand dollars, maybe, 
if we could do a hundred dollars I know that there was money in that account is it possible that we could do that so we're talking about um, four hundred dollars the board has that uh, at its disposal yes okay so if it is the I'll entertain a motion to do that if that is the board's sure. so okay moved. and I'll second out a necessity all in favor aye, aye. And so we'll notify them, um, the high school, with regards to that. The temporary health agent, um, as you know, Amy left us. We tried, she, she stayed on as a consultant, but um, we do need to fill that position. Um, Nick and I did have interviews, and um, I did consult with Amy as well. And the recommendation was for M. Alyssa Rikiski. Um, and certainly we can invite her in um, for a meeting if that's the board's if that is the board's pleasure so I will entertain a motion to accept her as the temporary health agent uh, so moved and I'll second out a necessity any discussion okay hearing none all in favor aye aye okay moving right along uh, Nick, would you like to cover number eight? This is a notification of the board that uh, a letter was received yesterday from the individual uh, notifying the board that he is rescinding his desire to sell the home, the uh, lift program home. Okay. So no meeting tomorrow So there's no meeting uh, tomorrow night. Okay. The individual will stay in the home. Okay. All right. Uh, and Madam Chair, yes. through council. Through Yep. I don't know now. I don't recall what was said about whether or not the board did, did the board. Um, does the board feel the need to make a motion to accept the rescind? Should the board be able to take any action now that the letter is received? The board should send a letter to the um, to the committee and to the property owner indicating that he receives this letter, indicating that he's withdrawing his house from the market for sale and he's withdrawing his house from the market from the market from the lottery accept this withdrawal and that no further action will be taken but if he's going to sell the property he needs to comply with the provisions again okay so no no necessarily a vote at this time. not a vote but a letter should come from the office that's been received okay and so we don't just to clarify we don't need to take a vote to accept his offer to take it off the table okay that's great um town council are there any other matters that should be um taken up in executive session that are on the agenda um, there, maybe, no, maybe number nine. There's a response from Secretary of State, and I have not received one yet. Okay, number nine, maybe? Uh, I don't know what the issue would be. Um, but there's an issue with respect to the Secretary of State getting back to us. If I could uh, just caucus Please. With, uh, for a moment. Absolutely. Can you play some music now, or should I serenade? <laughs> well, maybe, um, select with Federici, yes. would you mind reading the minute invitations and reminders? I'd be delighted. Thank you. Town offices are, uh, yeah, town offices. Explained by the, uh, sure. Chairman, as explained by the uh, administrator, I would say item nine would be executive session. Okay. And would you carry on? Sure. Select with Federici. Uh, town offices are closed Friday, April 18th, 2014, in observance of Good Friday. And the town offices are closed Monday, April 21st, in 2014, in observance of Patriots Day. Board of Selections meeting Tuesday, April 22nd. Isn't it supposed to be 14th? That's a, that's a typo on that. It's been corrected. 14th. Okay. Now, what's that? Tuesday, uh, Tuesday April 22nd uh, at 4 p.m. is meeting with the planning board for the vacancies. Ah, okay. All right. Um, Appropriations Committee Public Budget Meeting, Thursday, April 24th, 2014, 7 p.m. in the High School Auditorium. The Prescription Drug Take Back Day is Saturday, April 26, 2014, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Summit of Police Department. Board of Selectmen Meeting, uh, Tuesday, April 29th, 2014, at 9 a.m. in the Town Hall Hearing Room. And the Moderator's Warrant Preview Program Recording is Monday, May 5th, 2014, at the LCAT Studio, time to be determined. Okay. So with that, I believe the only thing that's still on the agenda or in executive session 
I'll entertain a motion. Walk me through this, Mr. Selectman Federici. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session. To enter into. What he said. I'll entertain that motion. Uh, so moved. And I'll second it. Uh, roll call. Excuse me, any discussion? Okay, roll call vote. Um, Selectman Federation? Yes. Selectman Thorpe, Angela? Yes.